Welcome back to my channel, guys. I haven't made videos for a month already. You lazy cow! Come on! You've asked me to make more videos about my country, Russian culture, and here we go. Today we're gonna talk about just that. In this video we will discuss expenses for living in Russia. How much money you would need for food, transportation, renting an apartment and other expenses for living here. How much it would cost you to live in Russia for a month. Continue watching. Well, of course, living expenses would depend a lot on the city in which you're located in Russia because living in Moscow in the capital of Russia and other provincial city is very different in terms of money. Well, salaries are different as well because according to news agency company Rio Novosti, it's very famous in Russia, average salary in Moscow is 88,000 rubles. Whereas in other provincial city it varies from 20,000 to 50,000 troubles per month. So you can see a huge gap in salaries in provincial cities and in the capital, but you would spend much more money in the capital as well. First inevitable thing that you would spend your money on is of course food. And I'm going to a usual supermarket. It's not an expensive one, but it's not the cheapest one as well. But everyone who lives in this area of Moscow would go there. So it's a very popular grocery shop here. So let's go. And listen. In Russia, taxes are already included in price, so everywhere you see a final price. And when you go to a cashier lady, there will never be a surprise like in Europe or the US that the price has changed because you see the final price. Actually, Russia is a potato nation. We eat potato with every dish, with soups, vegetables or just mashed potatoes like a puree. We eat them every single day. If you take vegetables or fruits in Russian supermarkets, at first you have to weigh them on scales. I haven't seen this in any other country. If you go to a cashier lady and you didn't weigh your vegetables, she will not accept it and tell you, why didn't you weigh your vegetables? <laughs> Usually I shop for food once a week because I don't like coming to the supermarket many times. So today I will be taking food which is enough for one person for a week. So now let's see prices for all basic food and some foods that are traditional for Russia. We will take eggs which is 65 rubles, milk 55 rubles per liter. In Russia, we really love milk products, especially cottage cheese. Well, in the US, they call it farmer cheese. And when I live abroad, I always miss this a lot. And this is 140 rubles. Mm, I really love cheese. 200 rubles for this piece. This product you can only find in Russia. We make kasha out of this. And if you translate it literally, it would mean backward. 99 rubles. Different kinds of bread. I like this one. Small bottle of water. And big ones that I usually buy for home. my usual set of products for one week so this is a check for everything that we've just bought and we have around 2300 troubles for all of this my food for a week 
very heavy. Next thing that you would spend your money on is transportation to move in the city. And here in Moscow we have a unified fare system, which means that we have one single ticket for any types of public transportation. One ride equals one entrance to any transport, which might be metro, monorail, bus or a tram. One single ticket in Moscow, it doesn't matter whether it is underground or a bus, costs 57 rubles. If you take a ticket for a holiday, it would cost you 230 rubles and for one month 2,900 rubles. And for this price you can ride unlimited times on any kinds of transportation because we have a unified fare system. That might not be expensive comparing to Europe, but it is very expensive comparing to other Russian cities. For example, in my hometown, and originally I'm from city Perm, which is to the east of Russia, one single trip costs 24 rubles there, which is twice less expensive. So prices for transportation are very different in Moscow, in the capital, and in other provincial cities of Russia. Well, you would also need to live somewhere, so let's discuss prices for renting an apartment in Moscow. And if you want to rent an apartment in the city, not in the suburbs, not in the nearby cities, but in Moscow, the cheapest option would cost you 25,000 rubles per month. And that would be a very simple, small, one-room apartment far from the city center, 25,000 rubles. But if you want to live in the city center, and by city center we mean something in the circle or anything inside of it, that would cost you 35,000 rubles. Again, that would be one room apartment. Well, but if you have a rich lifestyle, if you love luxury, there is a trendy place in Moscow, which is called Moscow City. And even in the Russian language, we call it Moskva City. It's a trendy place. It's a business center of Moscow. And there are many skyscrapers. And I've seen that many famous Russian stars and a lot of bloggers live there and I think that living there shows your status and welfare, etc. Renting an apartment in that luxurious area of the city would cost you from 200,000 rubles per month to 300,000 rubles. Well, quality of the apartments and the view from skyscrapers would totally worth the price though. If you don't like cooking and you prefer to eat out, lunch in an average cafe of Moscow would cost you around 400 rubles if you take a dish without meat. Many foreigners love cafe named Mumu. You can always see a big cow near those cafes and it's not expensive and you can try many traditional Russian foods there. Lunch in a more expensive cafe would cost you around 1000 rubles and of course there are many luxurious restaurants where you can have a lunch or dinner for 15,000 rubles. That's ridiculous! If you're a coffee lover, you can find the cheapest coffee in the city in a cafe named Coffee Fix and coffee costs 60 rubles there per serving and at Starbucks coffee would cost around 300 or 400 rubles. These were main costs for living in Moscow. Prices would be lower in any other Russian city and of course it depends on you and how you're used to spend your money. Whether you want to live in one room apartment or you want to live in one of the Moscow skyscrapers and to wake up with a spectacular view on the city. <sighs> Whether you love to eat out and eat in luxurious restaurants or you can save money by only buying food in a supermarket. Guys, in the comments write what you think about living costs in Russia. Whether you think it is expensive, moderate or even cheap to live here comparing to your country. And also comment if you plan to visit Russia because that would be awesome if you are coming to my home country. And I will see you in the next video.